There is a crazy assortment of material in the ocean. If you took a cross section of all the stuff that you come in contact with in your daily life, there's probably an example of it that ends up in the ocean. The ocean really underscores how connected we all are. It is kind of magical. These currents moving around the ocean and each current connected to the other current. I was a park warden for 35 years. The more remote areas that I'd go in the park, the more we would find and find plastic and, and uh, marine debris. You see this material and, and it's coming from Japan and coming from the US. Our stuff is going out there and people are finding our stuff. It really shows you how the ocean connects us and how our plastic waste migrates around the world. Even though it was garbage and a problem, it had this inherent uh, beauty to it and, and these am amazing stories about where it had come from. You know, the colors of it, the way it was worn and weathered and beaten around by the ocean. So I've been making art with marine debris probably, well, 20 years now. I make a variety of different things. I do some stuff that you know, can hang on the wall. I've done public art outside, installations at the museums and aquariums. It's hard to believe, but all this stuff I've collected from the shores around Tofino. The plastic gets pulverized by the ocean waves and it turns those big pieces of plastic into this confetti. You could break these things down and pick out, you know, specific things like that's a fiber from a rope. Oh, there's a part of a, a Ziploc bag. Well, this is called the uh, eye of the oyster catcher. Common objects that you find, the umbrella handles, bottle caps, these are lures for fishing for salmon, the rope and netting, knife handles. You know, as much as I'd like to say I was trying to save the world by picking this stuff up, my real motivation was that this was interesting material. But of course the byproduct of that was that people did connect with it. People would kind of realize, well, where is this stuff from? Oh, wait, that's from the ocean? What's it doing in the ocean? How did it get into the ocean? It's the decisions that I make as a consumer, the decisions that you make as a consumer. Do I buy bottled water? Do I buy single-use plastic? All those things add up. We're all kind of at fault but we're all part of the solution. For me, that's empowering because you can make a difference uh, just by you know, the daily decisions that you, you choose to make.